Today we're going to talk about physical and chemical changes. Physical changes are things that you can observe without changing anything. For example, this piece of paper is white, it's flat, and it's rectangular. All of those things about the paper I could see without changing the paper at all. In addition to physical properties, you have intrinsic properties that are inside whatever you're talking about. So for the paper, an intrinsic property would be that it's white and it's flat. Okay? I didn't change anything about the paper by just tearing it thin. Okay? An extrinsic property would be a measurement. By ripping this paper, I did change its size. It no longer weighs the same amount. Its length and width are no longer the same. Those are all measurements. Measurements are outside the extrinsic properties. Another physical property that we should talk about is magnetism. This one is one that people often get confused. Right here I have some iron and I have a magnet. This iron is attracted to the magnet. I just picked it up. I didn't change anything about the iron by picking it up. In fact, I can simply wipe it off. Okay. Therefore, magnetism is a physical property. Here's a physical change for you. I have this beaker full of water, and to that water, I'm going to add some salt. Now, I've changed what I've started with this time. I have salt inside water, but I can still get it back. If I heat that water for a while on top of a flame, then eventually my water will evaporate and I'll be left with the salt that I started with in the first place. There's been no reaction and I didn't create anything new. The opposite of a physical change or physical property is a chemical change or chemical property. Okay? Chemical changes are different than physical changes because we are creating something new. If I take this piece of paper and I light it on fire, then I'm changing its chemical properties. I am creating something new this time. I can't get back what I started with. Okay? The piece of paper is creating smoke, it's changing color, a chemical change says that it's burning. Okay? I can't get it back. A chemical property would say that it's flammable. Yes, you can catch it on fire. Here's another one that people also get confused. Okay? We just changed the color of that paper. Color change is a chemical property. If I just look at the paper and I say it's white, that's a physical property. Okay? I didn't change anything by saying the color, right? But if I change that color, now it's no longer white. It's turning brown. Therefore, it's a chemical change. Hopefully we clarified those things for you a little bit, and we'll see you next time.